Hello, 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 good day everyone. Welcome to another wonderful time of Empowerment Mondays. Amen. Let's just enjoy His glory. Let's just enjoy His glory today. It's another wonderful time for us to just, you know, bask in His presence. You ready? And, uh, Give him all the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we excited today? Please, as you come in, as you come in, just share the video, please. And let's just have it right there. A powerful minister of God. Amen. She is amazing. It's been a long time since I saw her. All right, please, let's share that video and... Uh, we have a very interesting topic today, you know, the subject of miracles is very sensitive. He's laughing right there. The subject of miracles is very sensitive and uh, we trust the Lord to help us tonight as we go into this subject, into this topic. I think I need to move away from the light a little bit. You have no rival. Oh, you guys are watching together. Okay. She is such an amazing woman of God. Heavily anointed. We trust God that we'll probably get to meet one of these days. Amen. Above all the name. What a powerful name it is. Amen. It's a powerful name in that name of Jesus. Miracles happen. And that's why today we are talking about miracles. We love miracles. Everybody love miracles. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. We are getting started in just a few moments. We are getting started in just a few moments. Can there be miracles without the word of God? Hallelujah. And pretty much uh, my guests should be popping up pretty soon so we can get started. As soon as he comes on, I'll bring him on live. And then we'll get moving from there. Amen. Thank you for sharing that video. Thank you for coming on board for us to talk about this topic. Power in the name of Jesus. That power produces miracles. Break every chain. Break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. Power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, there he comes. To break every chain. I think it would be great I have him on before. This network might mess up again. Masha Palabadi, hallelujah, to break every chain. I'm just requesting my guest to join the video right now, and as soon as he hits uh, accept, he'll be on on video. We can hear the chains falling. Miracles are going to happen today. I want to assure you, just be, just be rest assured, miracles are going to happen. Amen? We're talking about miracles. But as we go through that and, you know, make every adjustment and discuss on every point we will now understand you know having miracles done in the right way so i've requested my guest to join the video and uh it's adding him in as soon as he's in we would start moving on amen 
Hallelujah, there he comes. Amen. We can hear the chains are falling already. Amen. As that song winds down tonight, as that song winds down, the chains are falling and miracles are going to happen. As we talk on this topic, I can guarantee you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As our guests are adjusting themselves and getting set, as this song is winding down, we are going to die straight. Please, I want to encourage you, share, share, and share. Please let someone come on board. This subject of miracles has been a great confusion. You know, it has been, people have been so confused about it. Amen. And uh, it is just important that we talk about it today. In the name of Jesus, break everything. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. We want to appreciate the name of the Almighty for this wonderful opportunity and uh we are grateful to the Lord. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Before I go ahead to acknowledge my great guest tonight who is on the program, I want to just take a moment to acknowledge all those who have joined. I see a, a Monte Jew. That's my wonderful brother from Apostolic Church Street 7, the youth leader over there. I see a, oh, a Apostolic Catalyst. That's my mentor, Evangelist Godlove is watching. Thank you from the UK. And of course, Chupe Ives, uh, my wonderful brother. I call him my in-law. He's married to my very good sister. Amen. Thank you for watching with the wife all together. And I see six other people are watching. So uh, I know that maybe your comments have not indicated, but as your comments come up and uh, we will acknowledge you appropriately. Amen. Tonight we have a very wonderful man of God, a great man of God in our midst today to talk about this topic, which uh, we discussed earlier on. And uh, the flyer was out. I believe you saw that flyer. And today we want to talk about it. First of all, I want to acknowledge him. Welcome, uh, man of God, uh, Pastor Vitalis Ayire. Thank you for coming. Welcome. Yeah, you're blessed. Thank you all for being there. And to listen amen. to us. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Pastor Vitalis. Uh, Ayire is... Uh, based with us here in Dallas, Texas. So we are privileged to have him here. Uh, before he moved over to the United States, he was the district pastor of Boya 2 district. You know, uh, district with, I think if I'm not mistaken, maybe over three, three or four assemblies or something all under him. And if you want to go count the number of Christians all together, we are talking of all, uh, close to a thousand Christians, you know, put it together in all under those district. Uh, that were under his, uh, you know, leadership as a district pastor, and uh, I'm sure Bukwango is still missing him so much, but uh, <laughs> God has brought him over here to continue the work on this side. Amen. So we are very grateful, man of God, for you being with us tonight. And uh, just to add that he's, uh, you know, a theologian, he's a, a lecturer at the, he was a lecturer at the Apostolic Bilingual uh, Sem Bible Seminary in Kumba, so he is the right man to deal with this topic tonight. Amen. So you're in for a, a great ride. You're in for a smooth ride. Oh, and you're in for uh, a rough ride if it gets rough. He is able to handle everything that will come tonight. Amen. Thank you all for joining. Uh, right away, we have our topic, uh, which is right here. You know, can there be miracles without the word of God? you know and then other questions that followed below uh what's wrong when we have miracles without god's word and then what's wrong when we have god's word yet there are no miracles this is what we want to talk about i i call this this is this is a dilemma this is this is <laughs> this is quite confusing because there is a group that advocates that there must be the word of god before miracles come and then okay there's another group that advocates that and and then they are so good at the word, yeah, we don't see any miracles. So there is this confusion going on. And tonight we are going to probably, by God's grace, have this settled once and for all. Amen. 
So Amen. without Amen. keeping our audience waiting for too long, first thing I want to ask, man of God, is uh, what is a miracle? I think it's important for us to start right there because there are so many things we are calling miracles today. We don't even know what is a miracle and what is not. Let's begin by you telling us what is a miracle. Let's start from there. Yeah, that, the definition of miracle is, I think it has to do with content and context. But before I even start defining the miracle, I want to appreciate my brother, uh, I call him Pastor Godlove. We became close when he, he departed from us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he did some marvelous job this last month. I must appreciate him so much for the great wisdom he poured on this platform. Amen. And, uh, Amen. Also, I say that God will raise the blessing, and uh, wherever he is, we are looking forward that you join us in the U.S. And yes, sir. Thomas, you come soon. Let us be this great team. Amen. The giants God is raising up in these end times. Amen. Yeah, as uh, uh, my pastor already said, uh, there is a great dilemma, especially on the definition of miracle. I may not be able to give you the best of the definition, but I will give you some characteristics that indicates miracle. Because okay. miracles is perceived by individuals. People read the Bible, sometimes the Bible itself makes us to see healing as miracles and miracles as healing and mm. bring us to some, shift us to some area. But uh, following others who have defined miracles, and to my own conclusion, I look at miracle as an extraordinary event that mm. happens in the physical realm or the physical world that is beyond human or natural powers, mm. which mm. is ascribed to God as a supernatural cause or source. Mm. Yeah. Powerful. Powerful. In this definition, we see that it's something, it's an event that occurred in the physical world that is beyond human powers. It's beyond mm. natural powers. Mm -hmm. And it's ascribed to be done by God. It means the source mm. is God. Yeah. When the source becomes Man or Satan is called magic. Mm. Mm. That's a great, that's another great word you brought out right there. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. those things that we cannot explain, those things that we cannot know where it's coming from, except God being the source, is what we call miracle. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So that, that's, that's, a, that's a very powerful definition right there. And, and, and some key words have come out really clear. Supernatural, you know, done in, in the human realm, in the, in the realm of, of humans, and it is ascribed unto God. You know, it is supernatural, it is unexplainable, done within the human realm, and is ascribed as done by the Lord. And, and you've cleared the air that if it is, it is supernatural and it is done in the human realm and it is not ascribed or accredited as to have been done by god then it becomes magic you know yeah, if, magic. It, if the source of it is not god wow yeah. thank you so much for that definition right there uh, if I and, may uh, add, so that if we yes thought, if i may add to it the because there's a sharp difference between i know somebody who has a question between miracle and magic yeah the performance may be the same what we see may be the same, but first, their sources are different. Mm. With, with miracle, the source is God. They always yes. say, thy will be done. Mm -hmm. With magic, it my will will be done. Hmm. Okay, okay. With miracle, the testimony is all about God. With magic, the testimony is all about me. Ah. Mm. So those are some mm -hmm. marks before we start yeah. deeper. Deeper into, into that. Wow. 
so. Yes. Wow, wow. I think you've, you've just uh, raised something very powerful right there. And, and that could be a whole subject on its own, miracles and magic. That, that could be a whole yes, yeah, subject on its own. Uh, thank you so much. Now, as we progress, the next question I, I was gonna, I'm going to ask is, uh, you know, what is the purpose of a miracle anyways? You know, before we start talking about how can miracles be done, what is the right way of miracles being done? What is the purpose of miracles anyway? And uh, I can already see comments, contributions coming in. We are going to acknowledge all of that and uh, acknowledge everyone that is joining in. So what is the purpose? Why, why does God do miracles in the first place? What is the reason for miracles? Yeah, I think miracles just came as a confirmation to the Word of God. Okay. Confirming that the Word of God is true. Mm. That God is the author of His Word. And what He says in His Word, He performs. Mm -hmm. so that's the major purpose of miracle yeah and wow. that is why he will always do miracle not for the people but to show mm -hmm. to confirm the world and to bring a reality to the people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. wow wow Mir uh, miracles purpose for miracles is to confirm the word of god to show that he is and he was he is and he is you know he is is going to be the same yesterday, today, and forever. You know, yeah. to bring the word to life, and and, and to add to that, Jesus, you know, uh, meets somebody who in a, in a situation, very bad situation, and it, everybody assumes that he was in that situation predicament because of his sins, you know, and everybody already had their definition, their conclusion of what made him to be where he was, but Jesus said, no, it was neither him or his parents that sin. You know, but he was in that situation for the glory of for God glory to be manifested. God. So I think that is really uh, actually what you've passed out right there. And uh, thank you so much for that clarification. And uh, as we dive deeper into the waters, uh, we have, uh, you know, a couple of people that have joined along the way. Let me just acknowledge them real quick. I see a Reverend Ishaya Baba. That is a, a very high personality right there. Thank you, Reverend, for joining us. He, he was the, the chaplain of uh, one of the oldest and biggest universities in Africa, Amadou Bello University in, uh, in Zaria. Thank you so wow. much, Reverend. He was my lecturer uh, during uh, Expository Bible uh, College in Abuja. Uh, he was actually the chairman of that uh, college. So Reverend, now that you're there, thank you so much. And I'm putting in my application uh, to have you on this show one of these days by God's grace. Uh, so I'll definitely reach out to you pretty soon and we can, we'll be glad to have you. I see Pastor Etu Bright. Uh, thank you for joining. Pelagi Angel. Thank you for joining. Francis Tima. Thank you for joining. Mike Jimia. Thank you. Uh, Nku Salome. Thank you for joining as well. And I'll just keep acknowledging many more as they come on board. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, Reverend Vitalis, next thing I want to ask is, do we still have miracles today? Because there is a school of thought that assumes that miracles ended in the days of the Bible and that everything that happens today, it's manipulation in one way or the other, especially if we find it happening on TV. Uh, we are not really sure of these things that are happening. It could be some games and that from the testimonies and from things that have come out and people have just come to the conclusion that miracles per se, as the, to the definition of miracles, they do not happen anymore. And uh, there is even a, I mean, a whole denomination or, or group of, uh, you know, denominational sect that assumes and knows that everything we have to do today is just to preach the word and let it preached as it is that miracles ended in the days of Jesus and the apostles, that there are no more miracles. Are there still miracles today? And what way can you convince someone that miracles still happen today? Other than giving a testimony, I pray for this and they happen. Well, I wasn't there when it happened. Uh, so how do I know that miracles still happen today? Yeah, thank you for that um, uh, thrilling question. That is so, uh, really full of dilemmas. I want to appreciate the both school of thought, those that say the miracle ended in the days of the apostle, and those that say that miracle ended only in the days of Jesus Christ, it did not go ahead. 
those have said the miracle is still existing today. Well, I am of the school of thoughts that miracles still exist. And uh, miracles still exist, even to those who believe it ended. I'm here to tell you that miracles still exist. Before I go to the scriptures, I would like to come from the outside, from our current times. Uh, we have people that had serious ghastly accidents. And the whole car was damaged, and they were saved. I have a brother who came out of the church that day. So he wanted to go. Somebody told him to stay behind and get the benediction. And after the blessing, he was driving somewhere in Bamenda at the in Cameroon of station, and the car some assaulted in that he seven times, hmm. and he came out alive without a scratch. Mm. And maybe everybody who came there and said, this is miracle. Mm. Unexplainable. Yeah. There was a story that happened in, here in America about a little child that was under a car for, 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 was it for 41 minutes. And the policeman was walking and hearing a voice, hearing a voice, crying but the child was not crying crying under that car and they started following the direction of the voice and they went there and saved that child and they all said that is a miracle mm -hmm. we have doctors reports of terminal diseases of dates of death that this one cannot be cured it's beyond science beyond medical uh, expertise but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, they were healed. And mm -hmm. the doctor said, this is a miracle. Mm -hmm. When it is beyond human imagination, human experience, explanation, mm -hmm. human explanation, natural forces, we call that miracle. Mm -hmm. So miracles, they exist. And there are billions and billions of those things that happen every day and we every see day. it happening to everyone that's a miracle what you can explain that is uh, beyond natural forces beyond human imagination or explanation they are miracles but mm -hmm. the scriptures i know in the old testament we saw um, moses pointing a rod and the water divided that was a miracle yeah the mm -hmm. rod to give out water that was a miracle Daniel in the lion's den. Normally, no human being could go into with lions. Yeah. That yeah. there and was alive, and Daniel was saved. Mm -hmm. That was a miracle. Yes. We, we get Jesus himself using five loaves of bread and two fishes to feed 5,000 men. Mm -hmm. ah, that's a miracle. Mm -hmm. it's, it's beyond explanation. We don't know what to happen. Mm -hmm. We see a woman that was bleeding for 12 years. And has gone for the scripture says has done all she could, has moved from one position to another and could not get healed. But when she touches the hem of Jesus' garment, which I like the way my brother put it, because that was what is in my mind. The hem was strategic. The hem was carrying scriptures in mm. the metallic machine, which was inscribed. On it. it has scriptures that were inscribed on that hem of Jesus' garment. And mm -hmm. that signified the world. So she had to take faith to touch the mm -hmm. world. We shall talk that yes. later. She had to yes. take faith to touch the world because it said, if I will only do that, that was a statement of faith. And she moved and touched the hem of Jesus' garment, which I and my brother Golok can now say that was the world. She touched it, and she was healed. Mm -hmm. And that is a miracle. So yes. the doctor, yes. the medical record will say that is a miracle. So okay. I still believe mm -hmm. it happens. There are so yeah. many people with doctor's report that have been changed. There are so many people who have had serious issues, and the Lord has changed their conditions. 
So mm -hmm. I still believe miracle exists. Miracles have been created. Yes. yes. Now, now, thank you so much. Uh, I mean, you have listed, I mean, quite through the entire Bible from the Old to the New Testament, and we have seen it all uh, quite well explained. And uh, this is easy for, for the believers to accept. Uh, what of an unbeliever who says that, well, this is the Bible, and that's what I'm actually saying, and that you have mentioned all these things, and that... Uh, these are situations that happen to people and he calls them, it's luck. He just says, this is just luck. She was lucky to get out of the accident. She was lucky not to die in that plane crash and she was lucky. How else would you convince somebody who believe that, you know, this is nothing but luck? What makes it a miracle that this person would think it's not luck? Well, that, that's a very, uh, very pertinent question to convince a layman or the one that does not know God, who has not accepted mm -hmm. Christ in his or her life, to know that this is a miracle. You see, those who actually exclaim that that is a miracle, most of the times are unbelievers. Mm -hmm. Because it is mm -hmm. they who know that it cannot work. Yes. They who know that it is impossible. Because they are of the natural, and they know that naturally it cannot happen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Are, most of the time, they are the ones that exclaim this is miracle. Mm -hmm. It may not be known of the heart, but it's known in their subconscious mind that yes. miracle do exist. That there are people that have gotten this, like, like what we just explained of accident cases. We explain of medical cases. We we'll explain of maybe sorry, a child who will fall from the seventh floor of the house and fell and did not die. And the Lord mm -hmm. said, of those who died and they prayed for them, they came back to life. They still know these things are not normal. They are miracles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. That is why one of the greatest miracles the scripture has recorded, though we don't see it as miracle, is Jesus Christ dying and the third day he was raised from the dead. Yes. So yeah. they look at it and say, this is this. But he was alive. At the end, they knew the truth, but they tried to cover it because they are suppressing the gospel. Miracle mm. is true and real. Yeah. And real. Yeah. Yes. Jesus died and he was raised from death after the, mm -hmm. death the third day. By yeah. Christ. So, right. and that is one of the greatest miracles. It was also real in when he turned water into wine. They took no more water in the process of going, it changed to wine, and the people yeah. tried it and confirmed that yeah. it's a miracle. Mm -hmm. Now, but my answer to them is that these people believe in magic. They know that this miracle we are talking is magic, some manipulation of some mm -hmm. objects that mm -hmm. turn this thing to be like that. And if there is magic, which is a counterfeit to miracle, it means there is the original miracle. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Wow. Thank you so much. I think that is a lot of light that has been thrown right there. You know, so even though you're saying that miracles do not believe, you maybe believe in something else. You may call it magic. But what you do not really know is that, you know, what you may assume as luck, even what you're calling luck, in some sense, it's a miracle because things do not just happen out of chance. It is there is a God behind some of those things or some of all those things that happen in a supernatural way, unexplainable, that, you know, is divine. So, and, and on the other hand, for somebody who keeps saying that, I don't believe these things, they don't happen. One of the ways you're going to believe is when it's going to happen to you yourself, you know, an event may come your way that, you, you know, that you will look at it and at the end of that event, you're going to say, this is definitely a miracle. So... We are not praying that you get into such a situation or maybe a sad situation or, you know, delicate situation where you would have to believe through the hard way. But the word of God is true. And all we can do is present the word of God and present situations that have proven that miracles do exist. We can, we can take a horse to the stream, but we cannot force it to drink water. So in case yeah, you're still I, I struggling think, with that, yes. Yeah, I think, man of God, let me not cut it short. We preach it that the greatest miracle is conversion. I know. But I know that that's not our topic for today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The process of conversion, the way you were and who you are now, that process 
It's mm. a miracle because you are not mm -hmm. just, you are so you are not just what you you were. Yes, you and you don't have the power to change. Yes. You don't even know how it changed. You don't know how, how yes. it took place. Some supernatural hand did it. Yes, and yes. You are what that you are. That is yes. say the very essence of our existence. Yes, yes. But exactly. Is, but I know we are looking at events. I know that we are mm -hmm. looking at the occurrence which we can see with our eyes. Yes. The topic and how we appraise them to know whether this is a miracle or not. In mm -hmm. that way, there are three classes of it I want to put. The first class is the class of healing, being cured, where it is being, where you can be cured through medical, you can be cured through the hand of the Lord. Like those who were sick, Jesus healed them. They could be healed if they go to the hospital. There are those that were, were, were delivered from demonic mm. operations. They are their level of miracle. From demonic operations, from spiritual bondages, they had to mm -hmm. cast out spirits and they were free. And there were also those who died and they were raised back to life. Mm -hmm. so if you look at 1 Corinthians 12 when he was talking about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Three gifts were mentioned. The first one was which is see that the gift of miracle. And then the yes. other one, you see the gifts of healing. Mm -hmm. The other one, you see the gift of faith. Now, those three and, 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 and this gift and these are these are post resurrection gifts that were yes. given to the church. So yes. this is not something that was given to the disciples only the disciples when Jesus was with them. It came, mm -hmm. yeah, you are right. It came at a time. And mm -hmm. you see, these gifts are working in what we generally call the miracle. Because if one to look at the strictly theological perspective, miracle are just the supernatural events. Those mm -hmm. events that happen that we cannot control. But if you look at the way the scripture put it, there are some healings he called miracles. Yes. Mm. There is yes. so wherever these three gifts are operating, they are beyond human explanation. Mm -hmm. so you were yes. sick of terminal disease and you were healed. Yes. You had a you had a, you had cancer, which the the, the, the medical the, the, the in, within the medical they only suppress they try to control but yes. when the Lord comes in he heals it he oh, turned God, it around everything yes that right is miracle according to miracle. our context yes you see when they give of faith is operational of a child who died and then you pray for the child the child comes back to life that is a miracle that's a miracle yeah. Yes, thank you. I would. Uh, I would want to cut you short right there. I can't believe it's already four forty. This is time going by really fast, and our table, our plate is still full. <laughs> thank you so much. This is a lot coming our way today. And uh, uh, as we go to the next question, which is going to be exactly on what our flyer is asking about and talking about, uh, permit me just acknowledge a few more persons that join. I want to acknowledge the presence of uh, uh, Reverend Innocent. Uh, my pastor, Apostolic Church Dallas, thank you for joining. Uh, he has been there. I just uh, seen the notification a while ago. Uh, Rita Felix, thank you for joining. Michael Jamia, thank you for joining. Bless Kema. Uh, Lady Naomi, thank you. Uh, of course, uh, comments that are coming in there. Of course, Brother Roger, Rojas Molong, thank you. Uh, I'm going to read those comments as we wind down to the very end. Sister Regina, grateful. Thank you so much as well for sharing. Of course, uh, First Lady Alice Ayure, thank you for being there. And uh, Raymond, my good friend from Abuja, thank you for joining as well. Now, as we get into our topic of the day, does God's word have any part to play in the working of miracles? Does the word of God have any part to play in the working of miracles? Yeah, I will try to maybe analyze this from two directions. First, the word of God is the embodiment of miracle. So hmm. the word that. of God is everything spiritual is embodied in the word. The Bible says in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word mm. mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. in flesh and dwells among men. And 
you see, this particular word that we are talking about is Christ. And when Christ is not shared, miracle is difficult. So there is a rhema word and there's a written word. The rhema word is a word Jesus said, the words that I speak to you, they are spirits and they are life. Mm -hmm. uh, in the mm -hmm. Greek, they call it the zoe, they call it the God's kind of life. Yeah, but the word of God, which is rhema, is that word that is able to change situations, able to mm -hmm. bring miracle, able to bring deliverance, able to bring all what we are talking about. Mm. That is the word of God. And when the word of God comes in us, we are being like, we are being fed, we are being filled, we are being mm. nourished, we are being harmonized. In short, it feeds us. At that moment, yeah. you are carrying life in you. At that moment, you are carrying spirit in you. You know, the scripture has a lot of descriptions of the word. And the Hebrew put it in 412, the word of God is sharper and so powerful than any two as well. It's mm. capable to divide and to even separate the soul, of, uh, the soul from the spirit. Mm -hmm. So the intent, the word of God is so powerful. So when you have the word, miracle is is miracle is possible. Miracle is that. So the word of God is God, and the scripture says, "With God, mm. all." Things all things are hallelujah mm. yes and without the word nothing was created that's john mm. 7, verse 2 mm. without mm. the word mm. nothing was created my god even miracle was not created mm -hmm. that's even right miracle did not exist so the word the miracle is the product of the word of god. hallelujah mm. now there is other side the other direction of the question administration of the word before we see miracle okay must it be in the administration of the word before we see miracle that is mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. a lot of people are looking at yeah mm -hmm. you are a carrier of the word of god and you are driving down the lane and you have a, a serious accident because you are carrying the word of God, God honors his word and save your life. Mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At that time, yes. there was no physical word where you hear it, but you were, the word of God is in you and you were saved. That's a miracle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But in Exodus 15 26, he said, I sent my word mm. and my word healed them from all their diseases. At this point in time, there is a release of the word that when it comes, it heals the people from their sickness. It causes miracles in our context and things happen. So, majority mm -hmm. of the test of the miracles or the healings in the scriptures were based on obedience, about 90%. Go mm -hmm. and show yourself to the priest, the ten leopards. In Luke mm. 17. That's obedience they, to the word. They had to obey the word. So in the process mm -hmm. of obeying the word, they received their healing. We call it miracle. Mm. What they were delegated and sent out of the city. Now, we have the other ones that Jesus spoke to them to do something and they did it and they were healed. Mm -hmm. See mm -hmm. the Old Testament told the the, the Elijah uh, yeah, told the uh, Naaman go and dip yourself seven times in the river mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you, I mean the river Jordan seven times as he went yes. there he did it in obedience in, in obedience to the word wow that is the word powerful so, so the yeah. word is released in the pro when we obey the word miracles. Attract. Ha, that's yes. But mm. when you are a carrier of the word, miracles 
also happen. Mm, without necessarily declaring or openly yeah. speaking the word. Because yeah. you're a carrier, because you're a the carrier. word in you produces yeah. miracles. That's because right. there are moments when you are in a situation where you cannot quote scripture, you can't even That's talk. Right. Yeah. But because you are a carrier, the word of God dwells richly in you. Beautiful. It produces Beautiful. a miracle for you yeah. in such a moment. That's right. Wow. And, and I think that's, that's why it's important for us to, to, to not just have scriptures in our memory, but to have scriptures in, in our spirit. In our spirit. Yeah. Because the word Let's, is spirit mm -hmm. and the word is life. I want you to notice the word is spirit and the word is life. By the time you start meditating the word, you are becoming spiritually updated. And you have life in you. And this life, the enemy is afraid of. Whatever you speak with your mouth, you are speaking life. And that's the word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it happens. Yes. Because miracle in essence, is that those are events that happen without you knowing. Mm -hmm. say, this was miracle. Even you have experienced it, brother. Yeah. You, or you go through something. I say, did I really pass through this thing? Mm -hmm. wow. mm -hmm. This is miracle beyond your own explanation or your imagination. Mm. Wow. This is this is rich. This is so good right here. I can see the comments and everyone is like, wow, this is really good. And uh, I mean. We are we, we are really blessed to have to have this topic and the way you're really taking care of it. It's really a blessing to us. And uh, uh, please pardon me. I would just want to go through this and then read the comments and your contributions and any questions at the end, uh, so that we can get this knocked out. Uh, you know his you know flow of thoughts would be you know without interruption. Now you've really made it clear, and we've really seen you know well expatiated how the word has effect the word is necessary the word produces miracles because in the beginning was the word and you know paul comes on to even say that by him and for him were all things made and without him you know john explains all of that without him was nothing made that was made so we see the essence of the word we see the necessity of the word but we have also seen places we have also seen ministries we've seen churches we've seen uh, I'll call them men of God. We've seen places where we don't have the word, yet we see signs. I don't know if it's miracles. We see signs and wonders happening. Where a man comes in, he's called a pastor or a prophet, or he comes in and he doesn't declare the word. And the people in there did not even come for the word. They are not actually looking for the word. They just came because miracles they say you it may be miracles maybe something else is available for them and they come in and there is no word preached there is nothing really connected to god he comes and just touches people i'm not talking about a miracle service that was organized and the man of god has come there just to minister on people i mean a perpetual sunday to sunday or friday or meeting to meeting and there is no time giving to the word of God. Can there be a production of miracles without the word of God? Uh, <laughs> Somebody said, Busamba, that is magic or fake miracle. Well, let's get it from, from Reverend. Can, can, can such a place produce? Because we are seeing things happening. The question is not, are there things? There are things we all see. But we don't, the, the word ha doesn't have any place. We don't hear the word. We don't, the man of God doesn't even have time to open the Bible. He's here for this thing. And, well, and the people came for this thing and they are getting it. Can there be miracles without the word? Uh, I'll start by sharing a testimony of what that happens in one of the churches in Nigeria. Uh, it, is, it was life. It's true. I want to know, were you in Nigeria? It would be important. Yeah. Is that something you heard or something you were present? Yeah, yeah. We, three, uh, two of my friends went to a church to minister. And uh, the pastor was to bless them in a program. So the pastor preached the first day and they were to preach the other day. And then they came and told us this story in school. I was not there particularly. Okay. But my, mm -hmm. my, my, my course mates. Mm -hmm. You see, but you, you have studied in Nigeria as well. You have yeah, studied in Nigeria. I've yes, studied okay. in Nigeria. I've been in Nigeria for five years. You know, okay. All right. Go ahead. That experience. The truth is, uh, the issue is the source. 
Mm. It's not what we see with our eyes. Because what we see has brought a lot of arguments, a lot of things. And if you cannot discern the source, you mm. will be in this problem. Mm. And you cannot discern the source because you don't have the real world the undiluted world, the rhema world. Because when you have it, as the scriptures say, you will judge. You will judge those spirits. You will know it. You will know where it's coming from. Mm. Because mm. Jesus himself said in the last days, which are these days, a lot of people in Matthew, a lot of people will come in my name. Many shall mm -hmm. come in my name. Mm. They shall do signs and wonders. They shall do miracles as we call but I am not with them. Mm. Yeah. Mm. They are fake. Mm. So that's why I started defining miracle and I defined magic immediately because I know that the mm. opposite of miracle is magic. Mm. Or the counterfeit. Mm -hmm. There is a counterfeit. And it exists. Mm -hmm. It exists. It's a man. It means the word man, it means uncountable. Shakon. But man of God, this is not a shrine. This is a church. And the man touches the people and he says, be healed. Sometimes even in Jesus' name. So how is it possible that this name is used yes, and, he's, God, and he could be saved? That is, that is why I'm bringing the story out. Mm -hmm. So this went to the... Uh, so the man of God came up during the time. He doesn't make his hand like this. People will fall. He make his hand like this. People will fall. He make his hand like this. People will fall. So they didn't know why people were falling that way. Did they know that other man was solely anointed? And they respected him as a huge crowd. Mm -hmm. Yes. But he partnered with the school that I was, I was uh, worshiping. So we had pastors that usually go to his church. So while they were on the pulpit, um, uh, one of the students wanted to go and wash his hand in the in the vestry, the room behind. So mm -hmm. he went there and touched his sacred soap. He has a sacred soap. That each time hmm. he wants to come and minister, he goes down, touch it and wash his hand and come. Each time he does he make his hand like that, people fall. Hmm. So when this student went and washed his hand with that soap and came out, and he came out to preach that time, as he made that these people were falling, he made that these people were falling. He said, hey, what has happened to him? Hmm. So he tried to do it. And then, as he did it like that, he, he now turned behind the, the platform and stretched his hand. Even the pastor himself went down and the whole church started shouting, What is going on? It became mm. strange. So, while the man fell down on the floor, he started confessing, That's so, that's so, that's so. Hmm. This is a this is something that happened. This is not TV. It, Some, it this happened. is someone that was there actually yes. telling you what happened. It happened. So he said that soap. So now they come to discover that he calls that soap Jesus. That's why I want to mm. he calls mm. that soap Jesus. So that is why even the Bible there was bad Jesus. There were other Jesuses. Mm. Yes. Yes. That's yes. What yes. said because he humbled himself and God finally lifted up his name. Mm -hmm. on his name not the name jesus his name hmm. Hmm. you know so that, he, 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 yes throw more light on that because th there is i mean i'm in the united states and there's, there's a lot of mexicans with the name yeah. jesus yeah mm -hmm. he lifted up his name that at the mention of him of that name jesus every knee should bow now, when is the name is not directed to him, then it's magic. The name can be directed to anything. Then you can have your ring, you call it Jesus. Hmm. Wow. Wow. So they use wow. it to blindfold the church. Because he said he will come in my name. In my name means that they will come prepared as Christ, as angels. Means they will have churches. Mm -hmm. which they would share it. And when they use those things, it's not happening. So today we are deceived because we have problems as humans. We, are, we, 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 we don't have, we, don't, we, we are not disciplined by the world 
as my brother says, we have not been discipled. Mm -hmm. If you are not a disciple to the world, if you are not disciplined by the word of God, you will start looking for miracles. Wow. I think we, we, we are coming to, to that as we, as we go down. But this is, this is so good right here. This is so huge. So it is possible to have somebody calling that name of Jesus, yeah. but it is not attributed to Christ Jesus. Yeah. And, and you mentioned very clearly yeah. in the Bible, there were different types of Jesus. There was yeah. bad Jesus. There was, there, bad was, Jesus. There, was, there was, and, and today, yeah. for example, we are here in the United States and there is the, the, the Hispanic people, they have Jesus. That is their yeah. name. It's spelled the, the same Jesus as Jesus. So, before Jesus Christ was born, that name was in existence. They were using hmm. it. Yeah. That name was in existence. That's why wow. the, the, the Hebrew name Joshua was Means Yeshua. The Greek, mm -hmm. Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Wow. So that's why wow. we have it like that. So, wow. So we have so established it was that. Mm -hmm. to him, not just because of the name. Yes. He was called Jesus because he has empowered it on him. Yes. 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 Wow, thank you. So we have actually established the fact that, you know, there can be what you may call it miracles, but there can be magic done, you know, in a place without, you know, without Jesus, without, without, without the word of God. So in essence, there cannot be a genuine miracle when the word of God has not preceded. That's right. Because genuine miracles are, 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 you know, are formed on the basis of God's word, like Reverend Ishaya Baba said. So they are formed on, on, the, prem, on the foundation, the, the, of word, the word of the word of God. They are wow. In the word. In the word. In the word. Wow. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, so as we get, you know, going down to wrap up to the last three questions, the next thing I have is, so what is wrong when a church focuses on miracles, you know, and without any emphasis on God's word? Now that we have known that it is a possibility of walking in error, there's a possibility of magic being performed. We have churches and or maybe organizations or a group of people that miracles has become their primary focus. Is there anything wrong when not only a church, when even a Christian, a believer, focuses solely on miracles, starts running and chasing miracles. With I'm not saying that it's not okay to look for a miracle. If you're in a dire situation, you have to look for a solution. We all perfectly understand that. But what is wrong if we completely put the word of God aside and say, right now, I just want to get my baby. I just want to get my husband. I, well, that may not even be a miracle. I just want to get done with this disease that is terminal. What is wrong when we put aside the word of God and pursue miracles? Or even a church, they keep aside the word of God and all they want to get is miracles. Is there anything wrong with that? Uh, so many things are wrong. I would say hmm. that there are patients looking for, looking the hospital to go that they can get treatment. And is there anything wrong with that? A patient needs a hospital to get treatment. So what's yeah, wrong with patient. it? That's where I want to come in. They're just patients, mm -hmm. that, they are patients that are looking for hospitals. They go mm -hmm. hospital to go. They heard that there's a, there's a specialist here. There's a specialist there. They're going there to look mm -hmm. for treatment. They don't care about worship. The church is a place to worship. And miracles are byproduct of worship being God. And the, the and and that's what I want to use. There's a powerful analogy in the Bible that I like. There is this mm. a man who met Jesus Christ, whose child was sick. And when he met Jesus, he said to Christ, "If you are willing, please." Mm. My if God, you are willing? Can you uh, mm -hmm. heal? Mm -hmm. And Jesus said i am willing and i started saying that when it comes to miracle and healing it is the will of god thy will be done we don't go mm -hmm. we don't go to christ because of 
that we are looking for something for him from him we go to worship him we go mm -hmm. to be fair we go to yes. Him, man, yes. be fair mm. so you're just going because you have a you have a you have an issue that is going on in you and you want healing because if you are moving by that it means what is driving you there are you getting me is yes. different on the original purpose of the church mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's why i look at it that it's more of clinic but i come and open this clinic and people are coming there because they want that they are not even coming there because of the world the world is mm -hmm. they are looking yes they are yes looking just for that thing man of god this is me man of god i'm standing here man of god i'm doing this man of god i'm doing that so all about them is the man of god mm. it's not the word it's not the worship it's not raising the name of the lord up yes that is yes. the man of the god and they're not raising the god of the man yes 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 so that is my that is what is wrong Mm. that we have missed the reality of worshiping god the reality and that's why i will say this without fear or favor that the people we make the church to be as if the church was for the poor and those in pain and those in needy why the church is a place of worship and every human being should worship god for who he is for not what he is Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Well, yeah. So he can heal you, he can do that, he can mm -hmm. because, because he is God and he deserves our worship. Mm. Made for worship. Wow. So, wow. So my point really that is wrong. Because yes. the, the, the focus has been deviated. Yes. The focus have changed. Because you think that these issues, there is a God that can answer you. There's a God that can heal you. There's a God that can give you solution. It's true. These are all byproducts. That's mm -hmm. why I stand on the scripture of Matthew 6, 33. Seek ye first the kingdom Hallelujah. of God. Amen. And within the kingdom, there Hallelujah. is mm. Take note. Seek ye first the kingdom. In the kingdom, there's righteousness, there's peace, there is joy. There is love in the Holy Ghost. But he says mm. something. Seek that kingdom. But in the kingdom, seek but righteousness. Mm. And every other thing shall be added. Added. Mm. That follow. includes your miracle. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I don't look at it in that domain. Because our essence of going to church has been, has been and that's what the enemy does. Mm. The devil has really done to the church. Yes, yes, purpose, yes. The word. That's why yes. when the word of God is being preached, people are not even happy. Yes. When, but when there's a there's a prophecy that is going on, some miracles are taking place. They can stay there even for twenty hours. Nobody yes. complain. But when they yes. have administration for one hour, people are already complaining and they are getting out. Yes, yes. It's because. That is what the enemy has done. Mm, my that God. Is what is wrong. Hallelujah. Many don't want to become disciples. Many don't want to sit and listen to the word of God. Wow. Man of God, uh, sorry to, before we, we have a couple questions more. Now, let's, let's, let's come like, let's address someone right now. There is somebody who will probably in this, in this situation right now, and they have a pain. They, it, it's you know it's when you have a pain you really want that pain to go away and they it's not like they don't believe in jesus they believe in jesus but the pain is just overwhelming and they just wish this pain could go away and that's the reason they are running around they are not running around because they just want to go around how can you assure them in the midst of this pain seek ye first how what assurance can you give them you know that they should stop this haunting for miracle i mean you've already said a whole lot but is there anything more 
you can assure this person maybe they are getting to menopause as they may think and they think that the, the child may not come or they are getting to maybe past marriage age as they are by their definition and the husband so what and that's why they are running around because they are desperate yeah, yeah. but they love yeah. jesus how, how yeah, can you assure yeah. Uh, uh, man of God, you preach a message sometimes, you talk about um, uh, when you miss your track, you have to take other routes. Yes, yes, uh, lesson from the GPS. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lesson from the <laughs> GPS. Uh, I want to make it very clear to us that sometimes we live our lives and those opportunities came, we miss them because we're not spiritually sensitive. And because you miss them, you started taking a longer route. To reach mm. so you are just at the route you are doing secondly you must be patient mm. Thirdly, we should examine our lives where whether we are on the track of righteousness amen okay. amen because amen. many a times we only speak with our mouth but we know in reality that we are not doing the right thing mm -hmm. Thirdly, mm -hmm. maybe where we worship have deviated I'm not like saying that the church are doing great. Sometimes we have loose focus in the church. We now emphasize on other things rather than the word and prayer. Mm -hmm. As a person mm -hmm. said, maybe yes. let us give a table so that maybe we are not concentrated on the tables and the things that have to do with us. That mm. we have our flesh rather than seeking God and get the spiritual word for the people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. when it is missing this your people will leave yes hallelujah yeah. mm. thank you so much let's not dwell too long on that you have said three or two important things or three things right there first of all be sincere to yourself examine yourself there are things that need to be fixed go ahead and fix them and be patient be patient he is coming and the third thing you might have missed you know your timing but it is not over god is able to reroute you and bring that miracle you know at another season but just be patient but the bottom line of it all is you know seek him seek him you've said in matthew 6 33 seek him his kingdom first and his righteousness and these things we should look after will be added to you thank you so much and we haven't had time to take comments today but you know let's turn uh to, you know to the opposite direction of this we have emphasized the importance of the word the necessity for god's word and how god's word produces miracles and how god's word is the basis for every miracle to be produced okay that's good and fine we've all agreed on that but come to think of it there is this place or this place where the word of god is rich the pastor is good and the teachings are awesome. The, you come in there and you feed the, on the word really good. But they just have cases that miracles are not forthcoming. What is wrong when the word is so good and is genuine, yet there are no miracles? We are preaching good. We are doing all that God requires from us. The pastor is righteous living a good life but there are these members that are praying the, the cancer is just not going there are these members they've been there for years and the barrenness is just not going the word is there but miracles are not coming what is wrong yeah i think for mark 16 17 this sign shall follow them they that believe in my name they shall cast out devils, they shall lay hands on the sick, shall recover, and uh, they shall touch deadly things, they shall not hurt them. We have that mm -hmm. scripture that is so rich. Yes. And I, I, I agree with you. Sometimes the foundation of the pastor or the man of God also matters. We have different uh, people and what they believe. Some of them may believe in the preaching of the word and does not believe in the existence of miracles. I mm, have people okay. like that. They, mm -hmm. they, believe, they don't see that way. the word of God just console us and they believe that mm, just console us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and natural things to occur. They believe that way. And uh, what you believe works for you. Yeah. That's right. Works if for you believe, yeah, what you preach the word like like some job form of government. You have the evangelical, you have the Pentecostal, you have those. Some of them believe, 
And that's why some people have to leave such gathering to go and start their own ministry and so that they can start doing those things that they believe it is happening. And it goes. So it's also but in a milieu where you believe that the word of God carries a power to do it, therefore maybe it's giftings. Because mm. they, they have the yeah. nine gifts of the Holy Spirit, which is there. The, there's a tree that has to do with revelational gifts, the word of wisdom, word of knowledge, discernment of spirit. We have the vocal gift, which is prophecy, interpretation of uh, uh, tongues and tongues speaking. And then we have the power gift, which mm -hmm. is... So you may also be operational more in the revolutionary gift, and the power gift is not there. So no matter mm. you preach, you will not see the miracle, the healing that you want to be seeing. But you will, you will see, you will, you will roll your church with wisdom. You see riches, people getting rich because you are operating the revolutionary gift. Mm. You can tell people a lot of things, how to do it, and their church will grow. Mm. So that is why we are a body, we need one another. I may just be the hand, you are the head. And another one is a leg. So when we come together, we make that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But if only the one with the revelational gift is operating, is preaching, is all, so that gift will just be operating in that church. And then you see that grace will cover the place. That's why you can attest with me that there are some churches that when you go, all they talk is about faith, how to make wealth, how to do that. It's because the, the, the under shepherd is operating with that gift. Mm. He has nothing to do with the with the power gift. You with the power gift. So, yeah. so yeah. So, so what would be necessary to make a balance in such a place? You have a church yes. where, and because yes. there are people, they will have issues that need the power gift. Yeah, so, exactly. how would you bring about a balance? Yeah, many times you bring those with the power gift. Many times you bring those with the vocal gift, so that you need them to also talk to the people. We have to mm. use all this together to make the church edify complete the, mm -hmm. the of the church yes wow 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 and, and, and would you also i think uh, you've brought out two very important things here if you're in a place where maybe the pastor or the church where because the, we've agreed we all we all have agreed that there is a necessity for the word and the word produces miracle and now we are now looking at the fact that we are in a place where the word is good but there are no miracles so the first thing is you know pastor has mentioned the fact that it could be the person's theology the past the, the show or the the, the over the, the overseer he you know maybe it just one of the churches where they think that the, the word of god is just there to console the people in their pain to to lead them to their grave and then everything will be okay in heaven so that is already a, a, a an issue right there because if you do not believe that miracles will happen to those people then those members then there is no way it can come around you know and then the second thing he has mentioned is the issue of the giftings you could be good in 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 one area but lacking in the other area and so he then talks about the need for the body to work together bring the person with the gift of miracles the gift of healing you know and let them work and you know you are there to teach the people and do all of that but from time to time and also you raise people there could be even people in your midst that have those gifts use them and let them become a blessing to the people and i would just right. add this one yeah i'll add this one thing right there that it could also be patience you know just like it's you mentioned the story of of the rich man who came and said if you are willing at the end of the day this whole thing is about god That's it right. could just be i mean we must all come to the agreement of the sovereignty of god you know there are situations where we have done everything but we just leave it at his sovereignty you know it could just be that well that is not the time for that person to be here because even maybe benahin has even prayed on that person and it has still not happened so the sovereignty of god could be also one part of it just leave it in his hands and do your part of living right and trusting him and loving him and at the right time he will do it and even if he doesn't do it he still remains god i think i'll be right to say so that's right amen amen wow thank you so much as i uh you know uh go to the last question before i go pick up the comments we want to get done at 5 20 it is already a long time uh so as christians what should we run after well i think the you word. have touched on that the word the or miracle word. the word amen amen one million times the word amen 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 but, but i'll say that 
the word of God is everything. Because God is his word. Mm. And his word is him. Yes. Yeah. Because if you have his word in you, you say he will vitalize. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because the spirit of God operate on God's word. Yes. And if you have no word of God in you, the spirit of God will not operate on anything. You'll be carnal. Mm. And you cannot live as a child of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The word of God is the meat, is the food for the believers. Hallelujah. The we need to eat and live on. The word of God is the catalyst to our faith. Because the faith can only grow with the word. And without the word, faith, it is impossible mm, to, please, to God. please God. Hallelujah. So, and your level of faith increases based on the word. Mm. And when Jesus spoke to the fig tree, and the next day, the disciples saw the fig tree dead, withered. And they turned to Jesus and asked him, Did you know, Jones? Is it not yesterday you spoke to this tree? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Lead to faith. Yes. Yeah. So yes. that was the word that was spoken to the tree. And it happened. Mm -hmm. so if you build your faith, I tell you, even now, you can rise up and start doing extraordinary things. Mm. Because your faith is what is based on the word. Yes. So increase your word content. It will first of all cause you humble and makes you a disciple. Yes, that's why the reality of the world today we need disciples of the mm -hmm. world. Mm -hmm. John, my brother, Reverend Godlove. Uh, you know, I always tell you I don't like the word Reverend, but I love it <laughs> in this sense because I honor him for the great work he has done in his disciple school. Because that is what we need today. People should be discipled to us mm -hmm. so that they can be disciplined and the word of God will discipline them and they will grow. And all these mm -hmm. other things like miracle, prophecy, those things that are happening will just be a fiasco. Somebody said quickly, and let me address it. If the miracle is not from God, it's not miracle, it's magic. Yes, yes, and yes. I'm, I'm magic, going to start reading those comments now. Mm -hmm. Magic has brought a lot of problems in homes, in communities, in relationships, in the church, and it has caused more harm than good. Mm -hmm. Miracles will bring joy and exceeding joy. Yes, hallelujah. The whole town. Yes. Christ. Hallelujah. The man Amen. at the beautiful gate, when he was healed, 5,000 came to Christ because of that miracle. Mm. Yes, yes. Wow, wow. Man of God, as you, you know, just get ready to pray for us tonight, I believe someone here needs a miracle, and miracles are going to happen because we can't talk about miracles and go without miracles. It doesn't happen. Yeah. Yes. Oh, we know so, ourselves. Yes, someone is going to receive a miracle tonight, and we believe that the Lord is here in our midst. Let me just go ahead and read these comments as you just take that moment to meditate and get ready to bless us. Uh, I want to thank uh, Pastor Etuk. He said, thank you for that answer, uh, Doctor. Uh, Reverend Ishaya Baba says, uh, thank you so much, my dear. And of course, uh, we go down to uh, Pastor Etuk right there again. Uh, uh, you know, he's just thanking you for blessing us. As we go down, he say, uh, Pastor Innocent says, great to be in this program. Thank you, Pastor. Uh, uh, pa Reverend Ishaya, indeed, miracles still exist. Our very existence is a testimony that miracles still exist. Besides the continuing salvation work of God uh, over, 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 life, over our lives today is a miracle. Absolutely, Sister Regina mentions that. Uh, Michael Jimia, there is original miracle indeed, Pastor. Well said. So there is original and there is also fake. Uh, greater works, keep it up, evangelist. Thank you, Raymond. Uh, Michael, without God's word, there is no miracle, period. That, that's, that's a summary of this whole show today. If you forget anything, 
take this statement. Without God's word, there is no miracle. You could be have magic, you could have other things, but there is no miracle. Uh, Reverend Golov says, lovely. Uh, Regina, the word of God is an embodiment of miracle. Perfectly said. Very well said. Uh, Regina, again, with the word of God, miracle is inevitable. I love that. With the word, with the word, it is inevitable. It may take a little minute, but it will come. Hallelujah. And that's what Mercy Teba, thank you, Mama Pastor, she says, hallelujah. And uh, as we go down, uh, have scriptures in your spirit and not just in your memory. Awesome, awesome. Let the scriptures be in your spirit, not just in your memory, because in your memory, there's a day you will not be able to work with your memory, but your spirit never dies. Amen. You may have that accident and you can't even talk. That's when your memory cannot produce, but it is in your spirit. It will come out from your spirit and work the miracle in that unconscious state. Hallelujah. Michael Jamia keeps calling me Uncle Sam, but that is a magic or fake miracle. That's when we're talking about the word, a place where there is no word. And he says, anything that is happening there is nothing but fake. It is not a miracle. The word of God is the foundation of miracles. Thank you, Reverend Ishaya. Miracles confirm God's inf infallible and inherent, inerrant word. That's absolutely true, Reverend. As long as the word of God is not present, I don't need to descend the source. Hallelujah. That's Michael. It is magic, you know, just to cut it short. As long as God's word is not present, I don't even need to discern. You already know it is not a miracle. He says, Michael, I like Jesus of Nazareth because he alone is Jesus. Amen. And I think that's why a lot of times the scripture addresses him. Jesus, the Christ, Jesus of Nazareth. So because there are many other Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. May God open our spiritual eyes to see more. In fact, it's all wrong. You know, he calls me Uncle Samba again. <laughs> it is all wrong. Of course, we're asking about what is wrong when there is no word and miracles. Everything is wrong about it. Uh, Lady Naomi says, worship God for who he is and not for what he is. Awesome. Uh, Lady Gloria says, even a clinic, you go for regular checkups and you are educated on what to eat and how to stay healthy every day. That's a doctor. That's a senior nurse talking right there. How to stay healthy every day. You don't only go when you are sick and desperate. That is unhealthy. Perfectly true. You know, so you don't just run to a church. Give me the miracle today. Give me now, now. Pastor, this is, you're holding your sign and placard. Let, that's magic. You know, even if it's a clinic, a miracle clinic, they will, you know, America, I've come into a clinic and I need this pain to be addressed. And the first thing they're giving me is a clipboard with about 20 questions, your name, your ad. I'm like, get this thing. So they, they, <laughs> you still go through these processes. Amen. Wow, that is so powerful. I think it's just getting too late. Let's just leave it at that. If, I'm sorry if I didn't take your question, but we have five minutes to 5.30. Man of God, just declare a word and speak miracles over us today and Lord, let God on my word. Amen. Lord, you sent your word and your word Amen. with your people from their diseases. Yes, Lord. Lord I know someone there is watching at us. Your word is powerful. Your word is yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. It is yes, capable, powerful, and to heal us from our diseases. To yes, Lord. Us from every infirmity. To deliver yes, Lord. us from the powers of darkness. Lord, is it a terminal disease? Is it what mm. the devil has said something? Is it what the devil has written against us? Is what the devil has done against our peace. Father, I pray by virtue of this platform, by yes, Lord. Of the word that has been written the scripture says in Acts chapter 17 and verse 11 that the word yes, of God grew in yes. Ephesus. And yes. that even, oh God, oh God, there were many miracles that were yes. in the hands of Paul. Mm. And even the handkerchief in his hands, mm. God, people took and was performing miracles at that yes. point in time. I mm. pray for the increase of your word because the word I grew. I pray, you may we grow God. up in your word. May we yes, grow Lord. Up in your word. May your yes, Lord. Place in our life. Shaparado, see, Mm. Kabbalah, Babu, 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 Babu,
May it yes. be a portion. May it yes, be Lord. deliver someone now. Amen. Pray for that cancer to mm. receive the word of God. And yes. Heal. I Amen. Pray for all the other terminal diseases. May they yes, receive Lord. the word of God. And yes, be Lord. Healed. Father, yes, Lord. I pray for those that were dead in their spirits. May they mm. by the word. Yes, Lord. I yes, pray, Father. Oh God, for Ka those that that have to to do. serious hardship. I pray Ka for them that do. have on the shackles. I believe yes, Lord. in the miracles. I believe in the miracles of the Lord. Father, yes, in your power. And Marco, I pray, yes. oh God. They will Amen. call your servant and say, truly I was here. Amen. I was sick, but now I am here. Yes, I was Lord. Down, but now I have risen. I Amen. Pray for the manifestation of the power gifts. Father, yes. the enemy sometimes is looking at the church no, 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 and is laughing at God and say, Where mm. is the Where are the miracles? Oh, and Jesus. Jesus. Rest, oh, yes, Lord. The miracles the back to your church. Yes. Bread in your church. Oh, and Jesus. Let magic be buried. Mababush. Real miracles. Yes, Lord. Miracles, miracles back in your church, oh God. Calabosa. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, bless Father. Your yes, bless Lord. This program. Bless yes, Lord. Your servant. Yes, Give Lord. More wisdom. Give yes, Father. And deeper, oh God, ideas to bring yes, it Lord. up and all the other speakers that are coming forth. Yes, Lord. Lord. We use them greatly. And yes, bless Father. The world. I yes, pray Lord. For reality. I come against yes. counterfeit. Father, let yes. dies. May we yes. also see more in the spirit and walk yes. in the spirit. And yes, also, Lord. We shall harvest spiritual mm. fruits that we yes. shall say truly, our God is able. Bless yes. all the ministers who are yes. all currently in this channel. Bless yes. all because we have the major task to preach yes. the undiluted word. Yes. Said, they that believe this sign shall follow them. But yes. I pray, may we all oh God do your work and believe in you and may the mm. signs follow us. Help Amen. Us to seek your kingdom and the yes. righteousness in the kingdom so that mm. Lord, the signs will be our portion and we will yes. not be struggling anymore in the yes. name of Jesus. Thank Amen. You, Father, because Thank we you, all Lord. are blessed. They yes. are blessed. The Thank you, Lord. Is blessed. Your yes, Lord. Are blessed. Amen. In Jesus' blessed name we pray. Amen. 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 Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Reverend Vitalis. We really appreciate your coming tonight. Thank you so much. And thank everyone for being there tonight. It's been a great time. Next week, Monday again for another Empowerment Monday from 4 p.m. Uh, Central Time. Thank you and God bless you. Look forward to the next topic next Monday. It's going to be another great one. Thank you and bye-bye. Thank you, sir.